with black supremacy. And with this particular video, I want to call it holistic judgment versus fragmented condemnation. Now, I got to go in on that. Holistic judgment is where you look at the totality of a person's energy and frequency. You can consider the totality of good of which this person represents and contributes to the collective and to this plane and to themselves. That's holistic judgment. You see if irregardless of how they can be judged, of how they can be accused, of how they can help be held accountable, how much good or purity lies within a person's heart. How much good has, have they put forth and have they put more good than bad? And that has to be weighed out. There is no fragmented judgment based on this action or these groups of actions, these groups of mistakes or missteps or errors. Their deeds and their heart must be weighed. To see if their heart, in spite of how they can be judged by this, that, and other, if their heart will come up lighter than a feather. Here you have Anubis on here. And Anubis is weighing the heart against a feather to determine one's status in the afterlife. Now he has to weigh something. So that means there's a lot to be weighed. That means you can't just throw the book. You can't just condemn someone based on their transgression of this or that law that you don't like or you don't feel or the laws you think are the most abominable or unforgivable or unredeemable. They have to weigh the heart against a feather. That determines the condition of one's soul and their progress towards the afterlife. In this society today, we throw people away. We look at their behavior, we look at their deeds in our lives and we say, this person only got to cross us one time. This person only, only get to offend us one time. They only get to seem out of frequency or not on our vibration one time and they're expendable. We condemn that person, dismiss them from our lives, remove them from our experience. We don't look at them and weigh the good that they bring to the table against the so-called bad that we feel that is obvious, that appears to be an unreconcilable difference. We don't weigh their, their good to determine because we have become to the letter of the law. Not the quality of one's soul or one's character, but the letter of the law based on our interpretation. And to get into the afterlife, the hereafter, your heart must be weighed on the scale to see is it in light, how light it is, is it enlightened, or to see if it's heavy, no matter what you did, no matter what people may think about what you have done. Your good must outweigh your bad. And every day in your imperfections, your only objective is to make sure that the good outweighs the bad. And our only assessment of others, 
the way we grade others in our lives and determine if there is a place for them should be based on their good, not on how obvious the bad is. Because we throw away the good because of the bad. We don't weigh it out. We don't weigh a person out. We're very fragmented. Merciless. Self-righteous. Throw them out. We don't weigh things. Because if we weigh things, we would get past a lot within our communities. We would get over things. We will get over how we feel, how others, others have trespassed us, against us, or offended us. We will get past it. If we really sincerely sat down and got past our emotions about how we have been wronged. Or our emotions about what we feel is right and wrong. If we got past that and weighed their hearts to see is there more good, more purity, and more love in these entities than it is bad. And let that be the determining factor at how our relationships and how we interface, how that progress into the future. That should be the determining factor. We are too too expendable amongst one another. Too quick to condemn to persecute and prosecute and to judge unfairly and in a very biased way, in a very fragmented way, not looking at the whole picture. Your heart had to be weighed on a scale for a reason. Anubis is not concerned about the specific things that you did were wrong and the specifications of those wrongs. He's not concerned about that. Your heart must be weighed as a whole and it must it must be lighter than a feather. So if your heart is heavy. Then the rest of your life should be lighting it up. And the more that you contemplate your own wrongs and focused on your own wrongs and you wallow in your own guilt, the heavier your heart becomes. And you're not focusing on getting it lighter. By making sure that your good is more than your bad. And a lot of people have done a lot of bad in their own mind. They've done a lot of evil and a lot of wrongs. And they react to the wrongs and evils that they've done by just doing more evil and wrong. They don't think that they could spend the rest of their life lightening up their heart. With more love, more goodness, more kindness, more generosity. I did a video talking about the only universal morality is self-improvement. That's the only universal morality. But you have to look at your own self and improve, not based on my standard, my judgment, my moral code, based upon your own assessment of yourselves of ways that you know you can be better in being more forgiving, more caring, more selfless, more generous, more hospitable, more considerate, with more regards towards others. You know how you could do that in your everyday life. Only you could look at yourself. And make those unique changes without argument. Without trying to be defensive. You looking at the man in the mirror and improving your own self. Your own character. Only you can do that. Only you can get your heart lighter than a feather. And that should be your goal. No matter what wrongs you have done, out make sure your good outweighs them. And if you got to spend the rest of your life creating goods that to outweigh the negatives, 
then so be it. It's possible. It's possible. Get your heart ready for that scale. And use the same divine metaphor of Anubis with the scales to weigh how you perceive others in your lives. How you forgive others. And how you select those who will be amongst you. And how you deal with those who in a are in a process of improving along their own path. This is the divine way. The way of the Niteru. King over black supremacy. Signing out.